How you doing? Uh, Gary Casper back again for yep, Super Peel, you guessed it, and uh, another one of our little little trips, little, little tricks, uh, little tidbits. Um, a lot of the challenge with, with handling a pizza is on a regular peel is to get it so it doesn't stick when you want to slide it off. So you put a lot of cornmeal underneath it. Um, uh, sometimes people will actually blow air underneath the crust and that will make it try to get it really, really slippery. But that'll help you get it off the peel, but sometimes it'll go where you don't want it to go because it'll slide when you don't expect it. So one of the nice things about the cloth cover on the super peel is that it's very non-stick when you want it to be, but yet you can see here I can actually tip this almost 45 degrees and the pizza doesn't move so you've got you know it, it just isn't going to slide off when you don't want it to but when you want it to it's right off now what we're going to do next segment here is uh, get asked sometimes uh, can you work the dough on the peel and you can it's not like working a, uh, a, a pie crust when you roll out a pastry cloth is really what we have here so you flour up the peel a little bit rub some into the cloth and now this dough is, uh, is very non-stick and you can yeah, it's, it's, very, it's a little bit sticky on top, but you know you can just gently stretch this out to the size that you want. And you know it'll take a little bit of time here to just let this relax. And the, the size is 14 inches by 14 inches, so you can do a 14 round, or you can do a 14 by 14 square, or some other shape in between. I suppose it was whatever it is. Uh, I am not the best. Uh, piz Piziole, I guess they call them, you know, a pizza maker. But yeah, you don't have to be. You can you can push down on this a little bit. It's fine. And see, it doesn't. It's not sticking. I can let it down. Put it down again. Um, back on the on the surface. Um, pick it back up, and we can finish the pie right here if we want to. I prefer to do it on the board because it's, I have more control. I've got more space. Um, you know, why work on a small surface when you've got a much larger one to work on? It just makes a lot more sense to me that you can't pick it up. Uh, plus, if I go to put some oil around the edge, um, if I go off the sides, going on the cloth, I do it either way. But I do prefer. I tell most people, hey, do it on your tavolini board or your countertop, and then pick it up. It just uh, seems to work a lot better that way. So, anyway, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll catch you next time.